This is Cousin Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with Metro Team Marbella. We're at the Emirates Stadium here today for the press conference between James Agal and Lucien Boutet. Yeah. With me I've got Chunky himself. James Agal, how are you? Yeah. All good, Cooks. Uh, before we start, can I just give my thanks, please? You can. Thanks, yeah. Shout out to Al Heyman. <coughs> Uh, for giving me this opportunity against uh, a very good champion going over there and paying me well. Shout out to uh, Eddie, uh, my promoter. Uh, all looking good, you know what I'm saying? All looking good. Uh, so that's my first thanks to Al Heyman and Eddie Earn. So you're one of these people that will thank Al Heyman ahead of God huh? as well? Huh? Do you thank Al Heyman ahead of God? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I will, I will. Yeah, yeah, of course I would. Yeah, yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. You could have picked uh, an easier fight for your first defence. Uh, you're travelling to Quebec City, November 28th, to fight Lucy and Buse. Um But you've said it all along. These are the fights you want to be, so why, why wait around? That's it. Listen, this is a tricky fight as well, Kuz, you know. This is tricky. Lucy and Buse, he's still hungry, he's, he's quietly confident, but he looks he looks like he's on the ball and he's and he's ready to go. His his coach is talking a good fight as well. So uh keeps him going about home advantage and uh that he's never lost in Quebec. So obviously he's, he's looking for confidence, he's looking for things, but he seems actually ready to go and he's confident to win this title. But as I say, this is why I, this is what I want. I had the choice as well. I had the choice to uh I didn't have to go to Quebec but it just made more sense to go over there and, and defend my title over there. But uh, listen, I'm feeling real good. I'm, I'm confident of doing it. And, uh, I'm just looking forward to it, really. It seems, it seems like I've, I've been out the, the line now and it feels like I've been off the scene for a while. So it, feels like, it feels like I ain't had an interview with you for ages. It feels like I ain't been on Sky Sports in that for a long time. So You've been on about nice. 19 holidays. <laughs> so this feels nice to be back in the mix and be back with the media and all that. I know, obviously, Winning my world title, I had a couple months off and I had a good break and I've had about nine holidays, as you say. So, uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm refreshed and ready to go now. I'm in good shape now. I'm only about 12, 10 now. I've been in the gym for the past six, seven weeks. So, yeah, feeling good. Do you look at Lucien Boutte, how he was before Fortune, you looking at him, how he's been in the last three years? Have I ever said? Are you looking at Lucien Boutte? Oh, no, no, yeah. Oh, how I'm, he was pre Fortune? I'm looking at, yeah, I'm looking at Lucien Boutte five years ago when he had. Uh, 10 defences when he was champion for five years that's the one that's the one I'm looking at but uh, yeah I don't want people to judge my performance as well with Carl, with Carl Frotcher because I'm getting tweets and people probably expect me to blur him out of there and probably get him out there before Carl Frotch but uh, all I want to do is look good and win my world title I mean and, and defend my world title that's all I want to do that's what I want to do and if obviously knockout comes it comes but the way I'm feeling, the way I'm training, the way I'm looking in the gym, they expect a good performance, an explosive performance. I will ask you about um, some of the tweets that come out of your, from your Twitter account and assuming you run it yourself, uh, about George Groves. Yeah. Yesterday, George Groves gave an interview to Sky yesterday, uh, made some obviously, comments regarding yourself. First of all, uh, he's looking for a new trainer, mentioning yeah. the likes of uh, McCracken, and Shane McGuigan, etc. But what, what do you make of that, James? Uh, I'm not too sure how he's going to be trained by Rob, by Rob McCracken because he trains up in Sheffield. He's going to leave London to stay up there and live up there and get trained by him up there. I'm not even too sure if Rob McCracken wants to train George Groves. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a bit of a weird one, but say business is business. Uh, a good shout could be McGuigan. He seems like a good young uh, trainer coming up. But, uh, yeah. You know what? He seems. He seems no. And this is a serious no. He seems. He seems down, mate. He's not right, that kid. He's not right. He's not right. He's not right. He's, not right. he's, he's not the normal George Grove. He just looks down. Still depressed. It hurts him. It would hurt me if I had three goals at a world title, and if I'd been knocked out clean in one and been beat in the other two. I'd be down and upset. Three chances he's had. But then when you mention my name, he perks up a little bit and thinks, eh, money, oh yeah, let's go, chunky, I've beaten him twice. Uh, that don't matter. I, uh, when, I, when I retire and I haven't boxed him again, I'll be happy and humble because I've achieved what I wanted to do. It don't matter if I've lost against him. I've lost against him, I don't care. As I say, I lose, I've got the loss on my record, but when, the way I'm going and what I've achieved, when I retire and I haven't boxed him again, I'm happy, humble. that don't bother me, I don't understand. 
this, this ain't the James DeGale when I was 24 when I fought him and I was young and dumb and gassed and got carried away and fought by what he said and fought. He's a little donut kid, I don't care about him. I'm doing my thing, I'm achieving, I'm earning money, I'm very good money, and I'm doing well for myself. I don't care about this little donut. He needs to go away now, go and find himself a trainer, yeah? Get back in the ring, have a couple good wins, and then, and then after that, try and run your mouth a bit. Don't sit there after coming off a loss to Badu Jack, so you stormed out the ring like a little girl. Take it like a man, you know what I'm saying? I had to take it like a man when I thought I'd beat you. Do you know what I'm saying? I had to take that like a man when you tried to mug, when you tried to mug me onto her. And I used to see you, your little muggy fan, try to mug me. Things change. Cream always rises. Yeah? But you're going to do well. Listen, you're going to just do well. Stay at home. Be strong. Got a good fan. You've been missing all that. Yeah? Just show that and show a bit of heart, mate. Take it on the chin. You've lost. Take it on the chin and come back. Get in the gym and get back on it. And a couple of year or so, if you carry on and you have a couple of good wins, then uh, maybe I'll accept. Maybe, but like for now, just just relax and get yourself going again, mate. What did you make of the comment that he made that the only difference between you and him was that you got the decision in America and he didn't? We both. I I won on a split and he lost on a split. Because you watch the fight, you donut kid. I won unanimously. Unanimous. Unanimous. Did you see it, Coogan? I watched it. Unanimous, right? Not a split, mate. Every single judge give it to me. One judge gives my seven rounds, right? Thank you. Um, after his defeat, you made uh, some comments about a 90-10 split. Uh, I do that? not want to box him. He's a donut. He don't bring nothing to the table. I don't want to hear about him. I'm moving on to bigger and better things. Coogan, I'm about to go to Canada, defend my title, yeah? On Sky Sports, yeah? Earn money and move on. I want to unify titles, my next fight. I've been talking to Eddie Hearn and Al Heyman, they're talking about Badu Jack next year in Vegas, or maybe I can come back here to the Emirates. This is what I want in the big fights, the big names. George Grove don't bring nothing. No one even cares about him. No one wants, wants, wants to see that fight no more. You're a little donut kid. The only people that want to see that fight you're a stupid little fan that don't have a clue. Oh. Even you said to me as well, like, he's a proper little donut, right? Just, just, just beat him, James, and just get him out of the way. That's what you said to me. <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, finally, obviously, do you feel like you're taking any sort of risk element here by actually travelling out to Quebec to fight Bouta in your first defeat? I do. It obviously gets a bit real when uh, you're at press conferences and you see him and you see some of the things he says and he coaches. But uh, the way I'm feeling, Koo, uh obviously in the gym, sparring, and I keep on saying it feels like in every interview about the injury, but I am injury free now. So, uh, and it's still still there, but it's still getting better. It's like it's healing. It takes a while for it to heal properly, the groin. Uh, so I'm getting better and like. Yeah, just expect another good performance. Expect another good performance. Just finally, before I let you go, obviously it was announced yesterday, Arthur Abraham will yeah. fight our very own Martin Murray. What do you think about that fight? And Murray's got a great chance in that fight, though. Murray's got a fantastic chance. Out of all the kids on the domestic scene, he's the one that I rate. I honestly think he's a good fighter and he can mix it at the top, top level. He's proven it. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping he goes on and uh, wins the WBO title because next year, can you imagine that, me and him? At, at the Emirates, at wherever, unifying world title. So, my own best of luck, mate, and hopefully you can go over there and do the business. All right, James, listen, thanks for the title, too. Do you want to thank anyone before you go? Yeah, just one more, just big up to our Heyman as well, because he just helped me buy, buy my house with my last paycheck. Uh, and shout out to Eddie Herman, my promoter as well. All right? Go and actually, Sky Sports, JD, Team Chunky, MGM. Just shout out to MGM, because they're good guys there, and cool and catches. I felt all here, alright? Alright, thanks for going, thanks for talking to us.